Ezekiel 22:30. And I sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land, that I should not destroy it, but I found none. In the days of Ezekiel, God was looking for one person to stand up for his kingdom, but he found not one person. Could it be because someone was discouraged? Could it be because someone had lost their focus? Whatever the reason was, God found not one. Not one. Maybe you're that one today that can make a difference in your community. They can make a difference in your home. Gideon was that one. Gideon's army is an amazing story. In Judges 7, And the Lord said unto Gideon, By the three hundred men that lap, I will save you, and deliver the Midianites into thine hand, and let all the other people go, every man unto his place. Think of how difficult it was for Gideon to have lost his entire army and to have only had God to depend upon. Maybe you're that way today. You've been given a task by God, but you're wondering when the troops are coming. You've been given an assignment by God to be a leader in your home, to be a leader in your marriage to be a leader for your kids, to be a leader in your ministry, and you're wondering when the battle troops are coming. You're sinking, you're doubting, you're frustrated. Judges 7, 9. And it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, Arise, get thee down unto the host, for I have delivered it into thine hands. Don't expect any human being to do something that only God can do. Your job is to stand in the gap before me for the land. That land could be your home. That land could be your job. That land could be your marriage. That land could be your kids. Your job is to stand up for the kingdom of God. God's job is to deliver you. And he's already done it. Heavenly Father, help us, Jesus Christ. Help us grow in your word. Help us grow in your understanding. Your word says in Luke 16, 10, He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. And he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in much. Turn to Jesus and let him do what he's always said he's going to do. May God bless you and your family. Be encouraged. Sorry for the short video, but we're in the process of moving, packing. My daughter's sleeping, so I'm talking a little bit low here. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Jesus has already won this battle. God bless.